Good morning, guys. It's early on Tuesday morning, and I'm putting in my air intake, well, the filter anyways. I've already put it inside the box, and now I'm just installing the box back into the car. Hey, guys. I am headed home. Actually, I'm already home. I am home on this Tuesday. No mail. Empty mail. So I realized, I told you guys I was going to work on my car and clean the air filter. Well, I'm going to let the car cool down first. That way I don't scold myself trying to get to it. It's honestly not hard for me to get to. It's just I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit more. And while I'm letting it cool down, I'm going to start digging just a little bit. And that way I can kill two birds with one stone. You guys will get to see how to clean an air filter and oil it properly. This pile of dirt behind me is from when we had the excavator digging up the French drain and I still have like a foot to go so that's why I'm actually digging. I realized why we rented an excavator. It's just all rock. And way too hard to dig with a shovel. Um, might have to rent it again or maybe a really mini one or something because that is just way too hard. Right here is my intake box held on by this screw. Okay now that we have our filter off we're gonna take the oil and if you have the spray kind you can just spray it but make sure you do it on the top of the pleats along the top across them and if you have just the little drip kind like I think I have you're just going to take it run it across continue until it's fully red and it looks right what I did yesterday to make this look not black because let me tell you I did everything to make this thing not black and you guys are seeing the metal mesh in it right now but I used the Canon power recharge kit thing comes with cleaner and the oil sometimes you get aerosol oil you're gonna take this you're gonna spray it all along your filter let it soak in for 10 minutes don't leave it sitting do not leave it sitting you do not want this to be sitting it can damage the cotton fibers and then on the clean side you're gonna to want to take water just casual water nothing harsh and you're just gonna pour that in down through the clean side and onto so that way it gets rid of the stuff through the outside. You do not want to go to the outside in because that just kind of makes things worse. Now the reason why you're going along the edge is because you don't want it too oily but you don't want it too little either and you do the top of the pleats because that way it soaks down in and gets all the filter red. You're gonna let this soak in for about like 20 minutes after you're done. And you wanna apply this oil from the dirty side, or what used to be the dirty side, after you clean and let it dry for 20 to 45 minutes until it's completely dry. At this stage, um, I generally just stand it like this in the sink. That wasn't that bad, and it was very easy. It'll take about two to three hours at max if you just follow the instructions. <laughs> 